What we have here is another bomber. Bomber day. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is no way to treat a company vehicle. So I get my foot right up here under the handlebar. having lots of fun we're going perfect look if you look carefully you can see there's really steep stuff to our left we know this we're following the steep contour lines our gps is pointing us in the right direction just keeping us on track because we're heading to muffin commander noise yeah because uh, you can go anywhere and you're still getting it in the face. Just the way you're like it. about where we are right now. Okay. So, visibility is not good today. The lighting's flat. If we go out in this cut block here, we're not gonna be able to see anything. Now, I remember one minute ago when we were in the trees, we had good contrast. We could really see what was going on. Zero avalanche risk. Zero risk of going into some cross stitch. It's super safe in there. Super fun. Why the heck would you want to be out Why here? Why would you be out here anyway? Why would you be out here or going to the top of the mountain? That's just Sally now. Come on, let's get back in those trees. Come on. If you look here, we got a bunch of squiggles. That's us playing around. Muffin Commander. We're gonna head over into this plateau here. And what we don't wanna do is go in here because look how close those contour lines are. The reason there's a, a sharp line there is that's my uh, bird's eye imagery. So like air photos and then I have no air photos for that area because I'm not going there. Anyways, that's what's going on. We're gonna run the perimeter on this and uh, have some fun. 
Let's go. My guess is that nobody's ever snowmobiled or a snow bike to this particular area. It's just a little too far removed from everything. And it's close to a bunch of really steep stuff going down the mountain. You really don't want to get sucked down. Game over. The helicopter rest with that. But look at this, hey! great so we're following the contour lines around and when they come back and that's back to back to headquarters cool sometimes the toughest riding is in these juvenile cut blocks where all of a sudden you just find yourself in a complete dead end that's what could happen here i'm looking around very carefully <laughs> yeah. don't ever explore down guys because you know what that may be the only way to get out that's not so bad today because we've got a good base. Helga would teach that hill a lesson. But it's always best to try exploring new stuff from the bottom. And if it gets stinky, you can just turn around and float your way down. That's it. Safety tip of the day. area. What do you think the avalanche risk is here? Zero. No risk of avalanche. Um, maybe hit a pokey thing on a tree. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty much perfect. Time to go down some big slopes. Well, not big. Not like Revel Stoke big. Steepest slope. Relatively short. A couple hundred meters. And we always do this with a little bit of a uh, trepidation because we don't have brakes. We've been saying it all season, we were saying it all last season. We are hoping that something's going to get better real soon. If not, we might not be riding these bikes anymore. We might not even be riding Yetis anymore, who knows? What are you going to do when uh, you can't trust the brand to fix something? You stop supporting the brand, right? That's the way the world works, folks. I hope they can fix it because I love riding Yetis with everything except the brakes. But it's a matter of safety. If I'm laid up in some bed or some wheelchair because I didn't have brakes for weeks, months, years, or whatever, it's not worth it, man. I get a little bit more performance out of this Yeti, but if it's going to put me in a wheelchair, it ain't worth it. to have brakes you see I'm gonna stuff it into this thing there's so much cool stuff in here and I'd love to get in close to that look at it maybe grab some gas jump off it slow down again but at this point I don't even want to go down because I'm gonna have to keep go 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 I'd be planning like 15 turns ahead when something gets a steep this is yeah 45 degrees yeah so I keep harping on this thing it is affecting how we ride. <sighs> Beautiful day though, huh? Where's Stinky? Come on. Stinky, where are you? Okay, well obviously I'm not going straight down. I don't have that option. See you later, loser. Look at this. <laughs> I would love to go hauling off that. And then get on the brakes. Ah, yeah, look at this area. It's so awesome. Same with this. Uh-oh. Little bird. Wow! Little nose heavy on that one. 
Check it out. So if you've seen our opener for uh, Vernon Snow MX, Swag goes hauling off this thing and lands like way down there. You gonna do it again? Yeah. No? You don't wanna have a messed up back like me? Not today, folks. Come on, Anna. This is very steep. My right leg's gonna get ripped off. Okay, here we go. Can I get it up there? Yeah. That was cool. What they call those tracks up there? Scotty Chisholm tracks. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. We haven't been in this exact area before. But we know that there's a road between here and where we're going. And the contour lines aren't too steep. So yes, we are exploring downhill, which we do not recommend. But we know on the downhill side of us we've got a road. And it's not terribly far away, so even if it gets a little for us we can still come out. I'd be more worried about just having too many little trees and then you just can't get anywhere. It's gonna be fine though, it's awesome. Here comes Swaggy! closest calls I've had. That was super steep, couldn't stop, fully commit. Look, there's there's a freaking big stump right there, pointed straight up. That was a close call. Yeah, I just had a real good close call. I just heard that was a close call. I just heard close call. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. See, this is a no break. That was the no break situation right there. That's one of the closest calls I've had. Oh my God. Ah. Well, here's another one. <laughs> I came into that one okay. I can't just roll off this though. Yeah. Turn. Go straight down. Ooh. Gang. Mm -hmm. 
I'm out of gas. <laughs> I'm out of gas. Oh. Anna's thirsty. Been smashing the guts out of her all morning. Guess what? It's time to start heading home. We're running low on gas. Two tanks before noon. <laughs> yeah, we've, yeah, we've had a fair bit of fun ripping around today. So we're going to make our way back up the mountain and head way down the other side to the truck and call it a day and then start video editing. All right. Okay, temperature check 183. That's nice. Watch this. I, didn't I do this in the last video? I did this in the last video. I was warming up my gloves. I was in neutral, which I'm never in. Start going. What a loser. Help me. I'm feeble. <laughs> Somebody please teach me how to ride. Want me to hold it while you get started? Yeah, can you run next to me as I get rolling? <laughs> Shut up. There's the cliff I went off of. Now this is not great, is it guys? I either get to go off that cliff again, or I get to get stuck going up there. That's not an option. Eh. Bummer. Okay, I'm putting the bike in neutral. I'm gonna try and tow it back. Just walk it back a little bit so I can make new choices. Hopefully better ones. Whoa. Bye bye bike. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I don't love snow biking. I really can't think of any other sport that puts that big of a smile on my face. It's awesome. Well, see you guys later.